Hey everyone, welcome back to Inspiro. So today I wanted to share my PMS period self-care routine with you. These are things I do to show up for me and ways that I pamper myself when it's that time of the month. I find that intentional self-care goes a long way, especially as I don't feel my best when I'm on my period. I don't know if it's the hormones or PMS, but I find that my mental health dips when I'm on my period too. The voice inside my head gets a bit more judgy and critical, and I often feel bloated, sluggish, and heavy. So if you can relate to any of this, I hope that this video can share a few ways that you can show up for you on your period as well. So the first thing I do is I try to set boundaries around my time so that I can claim more intentional time with myself on my period. I've learned that I don't fully enjoy socializing when I'm on my period, so why I force myself. I try to schedule things around my time of the month as much as possible. Of course, if you have work, you still need to, you know, be productive at work. But in terms of everything else that I usually kind of jam pack my to-do list with, I try to be more easy with myself. And honestly, the goal is just to place less expectations all around, whether it's socializing, work, you know, side hustles or just life in general. I like wearing flattering yet comfy clothing instead of what's kind of laying around my place because I find that actually, you know, dressing cute or in a way that makes me feel good about myself goes a long way as well. Not just when I'm on my period and PMSing, but even just with you know, my mental health and in general the healthy habits I'm trying to build. It's going to be very similar with this routine and just what I'm trying to do on the day to day. These are a few of the sustainability minded and ethical outfits that I wear, that I love. This first one is a linen robe that I got recently from a super small woman owned brand called Belle the Label. I'll leave links to all of these things down below. You've seen most of these outfits already. Next is of course my ARC undies. They are the most comfortable, especially if I'm feeling Bloated. Sometimes I'll throw my colorful standard sweats on top. I feel really baggy. I love this like tone on tone set. Just a t-shirt and some sweats. You guys know I love this ribbed lounge like knitwear set too. This one's from Veta. I love that it's just super flowy but it still looks really put together. So this is my go-to for when I have Zoom meetings and stuff and I want to, you know, look nice and not too casual. And when it's hot out, I usually go for a bralette and bike short set. This one is from Backbeat Co. Comfort and sustainability are important to me, not just with the clothes that I wear on my body, but also the period products that I use in my body. <laughs> so that brings me to today's sponsor, Nature Care. Nature Care offers plastic-free period products that are also free from animal testing and made from 100% organic and sustainably sourced cotton, meaning that they are compostable, biodegradable, better for the planet, and better for our bodies. I've spoken a ton about the cotton industry in the context of fashion on this channel, but it also applies to the period products, the pads, the tampons that we all use as well because they are made of cotton. Hundreds of thousands of period products are disposed of daily. And quick reminder, they should never be flushed down the toilet. And conventional period products are not biodegradable and not compostable. So imagine how many are sitting in the landfills right now. I haven't been able to switch to tampons without an applicator yet. My goal is to get there one day, but I love that Nature Care also offers their 100% organic cotton tampons with a cardboard applicator. And I do want to acknowledge that it is a privilege to have access to period products and afford them. And that's something that we need to continue to fight for is access to period products. I think it's something that all governments should, you know, provide for free for women because it's, you know, our bodies, it's a right that we have. For those of us who do have that choice, I think opting for 100% organic cotton compostable biodegradable period products is a great next step. I'll leave a link in the description. Please check them out if you want to switch to more sustainable period products. Let's get back into my PMS period self-care routine. Another thing I like to do when I'm PMSing is to do light yoga and to move my body. There are days on my period where I do not want to work out at all and then there are days where you know I feel pretty okay. So to Depending on the day, I still try to stretch because it's a great way for me to also breathe and calm my body, calm my mind. And of course, you can't forget the comfort food, snacks, and the shows and movies to get you through your PMS period. I <laughs> love preparing snacks and things that satisfy my cravings. I often have the same cravings uh, right before I get my period. And I think it's really important to reframe my cravings, especially 
especially on my period so that it's a treat for myself that I deserve versus a regret that I gave into. I struggle with binge eating, with you know battling my depression and my anxiety so I often feel guilty for having cravings and giving into them um, and I find that you know feeling bad about it is not healthy or helpful so having it accessible so it's there and it's something that I deserve is something I've tried to reframe. I often crave sweets only when I'm PMSing, so I love, you know, the coffee. Ice cream from Hagen dazs tastes like ice cap. It's such a great treat. And then of course my chips, my pizza. So I allow myself the space to get cozy, whether it's on my couch or in bed, to my favorite funny shows or movies, K-dramas, you know, things that make me laugh things that make me cry. I'm having trouble crying these days too. But however you relax or rest best, to take that time and feel like you deserve it. Really try to relax without feeling guilty um, because we all deserve it, especially when, you know, our bodies are bleeding. <laughs> and then the last thing I try to do when I'm PMSing around my period is manifesting and releasing. My cycle often aligns with the moon cycle um, and I like to spend a bit of time tuning into my thoughts, what things that I'm shedding and letting go of with my previous cycle and what I want to spend my energy on in the new one. So my period right now often comes with the new moon like right after a full moon so i really like to journal uh and see this as kind of the end of a cycle for me it's a good way for me to keep track because otherwise you know if it just goes along with the calendar days i often lose track of time <laughs> i don't think time exists for me right now so i like to journal if i have thoughts in my mind something else that i've been trying to do is to paint or sketch a way to turn off that cognitive side of my brain uh, and to just do something like creative and almost mindless and in the past if I have trouble kind of tuning into my body I take baths but because it's been really hot recently I haven't really been into it but whatever you know helps you I think be in tune with your body during this time because it's a natural process for us that's essentially it that is my PMS period self-care routine these are a lot of the things I do in a normal self-care reset routine as well the main goal is to just honor our bodies my body and claim space for it because when we're on our period it's not like we're functioning like our normal selves we are you know bleeding so yeah i hope that you enjoyed hope that you found this helpful or inspiring or just uh something that you can relate to and resonate with i appreciate and cherish all of you so much please leave a like leave a comment down below what you do when you're pmsing or on your period and i will see you in my next video bye everyone